and welcome to my channel. Today's episode of Dark Diary is about the horror mystery movie, Scream 6. One year after the Woodsboro killings orchestrated by Richie Kush and Amber Freeman, a Blackmore University professor Laura Crane is catfished by her student Jason Carvey, who lures her outside a bar in New York City and kills her while wearing a ghostface costume. Jason plots with his roommate Greg to kill sisters Sam and Tara Carpenter to finish Richie and Amber's plan. However, Jason receives a call from a different ghostface who has murdered Greg and subsequently stabs Jason to death while denouncing their plan. Sam and Tara now live in New York City and attend Blackmore University with fellow survivors Chad and Mindy Meeks Martin, alongside their roommate Quinn Bailey, Mindy's girlfriend Anika Kyoko, and Chad's roommate Ethan Landry. Sam attends therapy with Dr. Stone and is ostracized in public because of an online conspiracy theory that she was the true mastermind of the latest killings. Quinn's father, Detective Wayne Bailey, calls Sam in for questioning as her ID was found at the scene of Jason's murder, along with a Ghostface mask worn by Richie and Amber. On the way to the station, Ghostface calls Sam from Richie's phone, who then attacks Tara and kills multiple bystanders, and leaves behind another Ghostface mask worn in the 2011 Woodsboro killings. At the station, the sisters meet with FBI Special Agent Kirby Reed, a survivor of the 2011 killings. They also encounter reporter Gail Weathers, who Sam and Tara resent for writing a book based on their experiences. She reveals that Sidney Prescott and her family have gone into hiding in response to the recent attacks. Dr. Stone is murdered by Ghostface, who steals Sam's file and leaves behind a mask worn in the Hollywood killings. From his window, Sam's boyfriend Danny witnesses Ghostface killing Quinn in Sam and Tara's apartment before attacking the group and killing Anika, leaving behind a mask worn in the Windsor College killings. Wayne is officially taken off the case following Quinn's death, but vows to help the group and avenge his daughter. Gail takes the group to an abandoned cinema she found while investigating, which has been set up as a shrine to the Ghostface killers, including weapons and outfits from each set of attacks. Unlike any other Ghostface. What is this place? A shrine. We've got to lure him in. We execute him. Ghostface calls Gail at her apartment and torments her about the death of Dewey Riley, before killing her boyfriend and attacking her. Sam and Tara arrive just in time to stop Ghostface from killing Gail, who is taken to the hospital. The group agree to meet Kirby at the theater to trap Ghostface. On the subway platform, they are separated, and Mindy is stabbed by Ghostface in a moving train. At the theater, Sam sees a hallucination of her father, original Ghostface killer Billy Loomis, who reminds her to defend herself and distrust everyone. Taking her father's knife from the original murders, Sam realizes they have been locked inside. Wayne calls Sam to warn her that Kirby was fired from the FBI months prior due to mental instability. Two Ghostface appear and attack Chad. As Tara and Sam attempt to escape, Kirby and Wayne both arrive with guns drawn. Wayne shoots Kirby, revealing himself as a third ghost face and the mastermind, his accomplices are his children, revealed to be Ethan and a still alive Quinn. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please like and subscribe my channel.